three-way ANOVA followed by post hoc tests in graft pad prism. Three-way ANOVA is factorial ANOVA. The test is used when there are three different factors or three different independent variables and one dependent variable. Here in this graph pad prism data view, I had placed data for um, salary earned by individual annually in pounds. There are three different factors in this data. The first factor is the job factor, which is here in this case, doctor, dentist. The second factor is the gender factor, which is male or female. The third factor is the factor for whether uh, a person have a PhD or not. There are three different factors, three independent variables, job, gender, and PhD. And a fourth variable, which is the dependent variable, which is measurable and continuous the salary variable. To find out whether there is a difference in the mean for factor job, which is factor one, or there is a difference in the mean for factor two, which is the gender factor, or whether there is a difference in the mean for the PhD factor, which is a, a third independent variable, then three-way ANOVA or factorial ANOVA uh, statistical test is the one to perform. In addition to try to finding out whether there is a, a difference due to the main effect by the three factors, it is also possible to look for interactions between those three factors and whether they have an effect on the wages earned by individual person. Whether there is an interaction between factor job with factor uh, gender or factor job with factor PhD or factor gender and PhD or interaction between the three factor, factor one and two and three. To perform three-way ANOVA or factorial ANOVA, seven different null hypotheses and, and alternative hypotheses will be generated. The first hypothesis Null hypothesis states that there is no difference in the mean for factor uh, one, which is the job factor. The second null hypothesis states that there is no difference in the mean for factor gender. The third null hypothesis states that there is no uh, difference in the mean for factor PhD. The fourth Null hypothesis states that there is no interaction between factor 1, which is the job, and factor 2, which is the gender. The fifth null hypothesis states that there is no interaction between factor job and factor PhD. And the sixth null hypothesis states that there is no interaction between factor uh, gender and factor PhD. And finally, the seventh null hypothesis states that there is no interaction between the three factors, factor job, factor gender, factor PhD. To do the analysis in PRISM, click on the analyze icon here. 
a window will appear and the software will automatically recognize the setting of this data as three-way ANOVA and it will select the three-way ANOVA testing and uh, as shown here analyze uh, doctor male doctor female dentist male and female click on uh, ok another window will appear since these data are not repetitive data so we are not going to select anything in the uh, repeated major design nor in the re repeated major analysis since this data are factorial um, um, data that have three different factors and we're going to select here the options for changing the factor name for the first um, factor going to change that into doctor versus dentist and for the second factor it's going to be gender which is male versus female and for the um, row which is the third factor is the PhD versus no PhD for multiple comparisons uh, it will get here a little bit complicated and I'm going to select uh, compare uh, the um, mean of the cell that differ by only one factor and for the options select the um, correct for multiple comparison using CDAC method uh, and um, here I'm going to generate a graph confidence interval and show cell means additional result and for the residual select the homo uh, heterogeneity plot the residual plot and the normality plot and for consolidate data i'm not going to select anything click on ok uh, several uh, windows and sections will appear here the first one is the outcome for the analysis of three-way ANOVA showing the result and you can see here that alpha is set up as 0.05 anything less than 0.05 then that is significant and for the ANOVA table here it shows that whether there is a significant or no significant for the three main effects and the interactions so if we look at the ANOVA table here you can see that the uh, factor which is the PhD uh, comparing whether there is an effect of having a PhD on the salary earn those who have a PhD and those who do not have a PhD yes there is a significant difference on those groups or those two levels so there is a difference in the salary salary earned based on the qualification of having a PhD for the second factor which is the factor for job dentist and doctors again there is a difference in the salary earned uh, uh, for doctors compared to dentists and the p-value is significant and the third factor which is the gender factor male and female again there is no significant differences here on the salary and so whether you are a male or a female does not have an influence on the salary earned for then the interaction between those three different factors the first interaction look at whether the phd factor and the job factor interact with each other to affect the salary earned again here it shows that there is no interaction uh, between those two factor or factors and for the interaction between the phd and the gender again there is no significant um, p-value there is no interaction between those two factor and for the factor of the job and the factor of the gender there is no uh, interaction and for the three 
factors, interaction between the three factors, there is no significant interaction between them. And again, here the test also will look at the normality test using different statistical tests here. And uh, it shows that the, these uh, variables data has passed the normality test. Uh, for multiple comparison, it will get a little bit complicated for those who are interested in looking at uh, whether there is a difference in uh, comparison between pairwise uh, group and subgroup, then this one is the way to look at. And for the uh, means, I've requested the data here is given, an output is given for uh, the male and female to compare male, female, PhD, doctor and PhD and doctor and gender. If we look at the graph also, certain different graphs are generated in graph um, pad um, prism and for homogeneity of variance again it shows this plot and for QQ plot a uh, uh, graph is generated. So this is the way to um, perform three-way ANOVA statistical test in graph pad prism.